All right, this is just going to be a quick optimization video if you're not reinstalling Windows. I'm just going to go over some things real quick. I covered it in my long video, but I'm just going to make a short video running through it real quick. So, like just some things that you should do. Run game as admin. So you're literally just going to go to find your game, this local to C, write games, write client. Right click here, properties, compatibility, change settings for all users, run as administrator. You do that here, you're going to go to Valorant Live, you're going to do it for this one as well. And you're also going to do it for Win64 shipping as well. Make sure they're all running as admin. Your game might not start right away, it might give you an error, all you have to do is restart your computer. Next. In the search bar up here, you're going to type in percent app data percent like this. You click app data right here, local, you're going to go to Valorant, saved, config. These, if you have a bunch of these things, these are the games that you, these are all the accounts you've logged into. Just go into the first one or go into whatever one, Windows, Game User Settings. This is only if you have really low FPS or if you're having problems with frame rates, you should do this. Down here in the Game User Settings, change this to 1 and change all these to 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. zero. Save that and 0. Save this. I'm not going to save it obviously because I don't have that low frame rates, but if you're getting pretty low frame rates, this will boost your FPS just a little bit. Next, uh, game mode. So if you type in game mode, so it's going to appear like this. You're going to go to graphic settings. So make sure this is on first of all. Turn off this, especially if you're on 457.51. It doesn't really do anything and sometimes it can just cause more harm than good. Turn off variable refresh rate and that's it here. Um, next, turn off background apps. You're just going to type in background apps until it pops up. Make sure this is turned off. Next is going to be MS Config. So if you type in MS Config, go to Services, hide all Microsoft ones. If you have a bunch of stuff here, uncheck the ones you don't need. Just go through and uncheck them, uncheck them, uncheck them. Make sure you hide all Microsoft services. You don't want to disable any of these. So Click there and uncheck all the ones you don't need. When you hit OK, it's going to ask you to restart. You don't have to do that right away. And click the Startup tab, hit Open Task Manager, and you'll see the Startup tab here. And you have a bunch of startup apps here. You can just right click and disable the ones you don't need. This will help to stop crap from randomly starting on your computer. Next is going to be 457.51. If you look at my last video, I literally explained in depth how to install this driver and uninstall your current driver. So go watch that video. NVIDIA Audio, NVIDIA Audio, if you go to Device Manager, View, Devices by Connection, we'll have to sometimes, you'll see a bunch of weird stuff here. You can open these here. You can open up these tabs here. You'll have access to everything. If you're looking for the PCI bridge that has the NVIDIA GeForce, your graphics card, and this high definition audio controller, find this, right click, and disable the device. Make sure it's linked right with your graphics card under the same one. Don't disable the high definition audio if you have something else. Make sure it's right with your graphics card under the same PCI bridge. Disable that. Next is make sure your NVIDIA, your control panel is optimized. That's simple. I went over this in the last video as well. Just make sure you use the advanced 3D image settings. Here's my settings. I'm going to quickly scroll through because I play G-Sync. If you don't play G-Sync, make sure V-Sync's off. Everything else will be fine. Um, Resolution 1920, make sure you're under PC and you select your refresh rate. Display port, probably the best thing to use as well. No scaling if you're on um, native and don't do any of this. Obviously, if you're on stretched, click full screen. This might not say display, it might just say GPU for you. And make sure you check this button. Um, display scaling, you can use this if you have a really good display. If you don't have that good of a screen and you see display and GPU and you have a Decent GPU, I'd choose GPU over display. It just really depends on how good your monitor is. Um, that's it for NVIDIA Control Panel. Device Manager, there's not really much to go over there. It's just mainly disabling NVIDIA Audio. Uh, sounds, so if I go to the Sounds tab, just right click on the headphones here, Sounds. Go to Playback. Make sure you disable everything except for the ones you're not using. So I just have my headset here. Sometimes there'll be all the monitors that appear. Just right click Disable anything you don't need. Right click Properties, Enhancements, Disable Enhancements. 
hit OK. Go to recording, disable everything you don't need here as well. Just right click disable and just make sure you have your mic and that's it. Next is going to be the Freethy doc. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to YouTube and type in Freethy. You're going to want to find the video that's for 20H2 here. And you're going to download the Google Drive here. You're just going to go here. You're going to download this 20H2 one, not the server one. Once you download it, extract it. And you'll have something that looks like this. You'll see this folder here. What you're going to want to do is right click on your, you can go to, actually, let's go to Device Manager. And you're going to go to your network. Where's the network driver? Up here, Network Adapters. Right click on the one you're using, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Go to Properties. And go to Driver, Update Driver. Browse my computer for drivers. Browse, and you're going to go to that folder. Downloads this. Click this, hit OK, hit Next. It's going to update your NVIDIA, it's, sorry, it's going to update your Ethernet or Wi-Fi driver to the latest one. Next, go to To Do. And what you're going to do here is you're going to go to Installers. You know, sorry, let's start here. Post Install. Right click on this, Properties. Uncheck Read Only. Right click Edit. And here you're going to just, you're just going to delete the things that you don't actually need. So this deletes all the power plans and just sets bits on high performance. I recommend you leave all these. Disable Hibernate, disable HPET. Um, what does this do? Yeah, you can keep this. Import regedit. So delete this import regedit and keep that. Import base profile, delete that. And delete these installers. You don't need the installers. So you're just going to keep this. You're going to save it. And then you're going to run it. I'd rec yeah, I'd recommend keeping this and running this. Next, uninstall Skype. You just right click, run with PowerShell. That will uninstall Skype. Next, you're going to go to Installers. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, if you're not running G-Sync, you can open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and drag this in and hit Apply. But if you are running G-Sync or you're just, and if you are running G-Sync, don't do that, obviously. You're going to go to Files, Program Files. In here, the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, you're going to open this. It might not open right away, and if it doesn't, you'll see a little thing down here. This will pop up like this. It'll look something along the lines of this. What you want to do is check both of these. You want to put half your RAM. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM, you're going to put 8,192. 32 gigs of RAM, you're going to take this number and just divide it by 2. Put it in here. Want a timer resolution, you can put 0 0.5. You're going to check this Enable Custom Timer and hit Start. This is going to do is going to constantly purge the standby list every time these requirements are met, so your RAM isn't holding any cache. Really good to do. Plus, it also has the lowers the Windows timer, makes your mouse more snappy. Next, if you go to MSI mode and open MSI mode here, make sure you run it as administrator. You might see a bunch of stuff here. If you're not running a 30 series graphics card, make sure you put it. Like, sorry, if you're not running a 30 series, graf 30 series graphics card, you can put this in high. If you're running 30 series, don't put this in high. Make sure you check MSI mode. Anything that's supported MSI mode, you can check the boxes. Make sure under supported modes it says MSI. If it doesn't, do not check this box. You'll blue screen. Not good. Next, you want to look at the IRQs. If you have any IRQ sharing, which means that all these values are negative, but sometimes you'll have positive values too. If any values overlap each other, so if I have 40, if I have this on 44, and then there's another 44 here, that means you're sharing IRQs. Sharing IRQs causes latency. What you need to do is you need to go into the device manager, view devices by connection, and you need to disable one of those things. Or if you put it in, if it supports MSI mode, put it in MSI mode, and it will take that positive number. To, and when you restart. It'll take that positive number, put it into a negative number, and it won't share that IRQ anymore. But if it doesn't support MSI mode and it's overlapping, you need to go and either disable whatever one, the negative or the positive number, for whatever name it is here, so that you're not sharing any IRQs. Because sharing IRQs can lead to a lot of latency. You don't want it, it's not good. Next, under here, 
we are going to go to snappy driver install you can un you can install this what this will do is it will show you this is what it looks like once it's installed you can click download indexes only when it pops up for you it'll be the bottom one and this shows you all the drivers that you can update i don't need these because i just don't need them so but let's say you have like an ethernet driver or like there's some other stuff that's already installed on your computer you can click it and just click install and these will install the latest drivers for you next you are going to go to we're done here yeah we're done here make sure you go actually go to auto runs and run as administrator in your auto runs what you can do is you can go through one by one you can delete stuff that starts on startup that you don't need if you see anything with microsoft edge under login you can just click it and just click your delete key and that will delete the key for you but anything else if you don't need it don't delete it just uncheck it just in case it does cause a problem then you can not, you can check it again because once you delete it it's gone so go through log on and delete anything sorry uncheck anything you don't need delete anything to do with edge explorer same thing internet explorer here don't touch these just leave these two but if you have anything else you can uncheck delete schedule tasks again same thing here services same thing here and then drivers this is very important do not mess with any drivers here you can delete them you can delete stuff that you don't need if it's in yellow it means it's not it's not even on your computer anymore so you can literally just delete it it'll be gone but again i recommend unchecking not deleting things and yeah that will stop a bunch of stuff from booting on like startup that you just don't need um next we got the power plant covered the free the docs same with updated drivers and msi mode last thing is again go into your bios make sure your ram's in xmp mode update your bios as well just look up how to update your bios maybe overclock your cpu if you're comfortable you're going to get more frames it's just going to be a better time same thing with uh overclocking your gpu you can overclock your gpu i'm running in something called an undervolt on this using the curve optimizer that's built in because i don't know why but msi afterburner just is giving me a bunch of problems with this card and my fans aren't running properly and it's just a whole mess so i'm just using this with boost lock which is just undervolting my card and yeah that's pretty much it um, also doing custom fan curves in your BIOS for all your fans is really good to do too. And uninstalling like Razer software, even like, let's say you have a G Pro wireless, you don't need the Logitech software. There's something called onboard memory manager and you can get rid of G hub and you can just use this to set your DPI and set your Hertz, all that kind of stuff. It's a great program. Again, ditch G hub. If you have a, um, uh, Logitech mouse and just get the onboard memory manager. That's it. Just covering a bunch of things as fast as I can in this video. Just how to optimize things, especially for this like act. Thanks so much. And if you have any comments or any questions, just leave it in the description.